So I'm switching my data engineering cookbook from LaTeX to Markdown. In this video, I'm going to show you what I like about LaTeX, uh, why I switched to Markdown and what I like about Markdown. But before we start, um, if you're new to the channel, this Plumbers of Data Science channel is all about data engineering, big data, um, processing data science platforms. If you want to get all the updates, um, hit the subscribe button and activate the bell. I have a new style of the videos. Uh, it's more of a vlog style. Um, it's shorter videos. I changed to shorter from longer one and a half hour podcasts, um, live streams. Let me know in the comments uh, if you like these videos better. Uh, what I do here is I'm, um, I'm documenting basically my work. I'm uh, working on a cookbook right now. I work like uh, on data engineering courses, also some behind the scenes of what it takes to run a uh, online business, to uh, run a YouTube channel with uh, right now over 100,000 views. So um, yeah, regarding the LaTeX and Markdown decision. So first of all, what do I like about LaTeX? Um, LaTeX, the cool thing about LaTeX is that it looks very, very professional. So here's the cookbook, the old version. It's 127 pages. You have the cover page and then you have uh, the contents. Very, it looks very nice. Um, then you have the parts and uh, the writing itself. It looks looks very good. You have the um, you have images that you can add. You can add tables. Here's a table from a podcast that I have done. A link, uh, footer, header, everything, different parts. Always with links. Um, it looks overall. It looks very very professional. And uh, it also it creates the the index is getting created automatically, and all the other indexes like where is uh, bibliographies or list of figures, list of tables, everything gets gets created automatically. Uh, it's a big plus, and this is what I uh, love about LaTeX. It's very simple, and also it works great with GitHub. So. You're basically working with text files, and these text files are you can you can upload very very easily to uh, GitHub and manage with GitHub. So super, LaTeX super. Um, I've using used it now for eight months in this project, and uh, yeah, I quite liked it. So um, why did I switch? I switched because this whole thing. This this uh, cookbook is um, is growing. It's a it's a growing cookbook, and it's it's not finished. So why did I switch from um, LaTeX to Markdown, or why did I decide this? Um, first of all, this cookbook that I'm writing it's not a finished book. I'm writing it and I'm I'm putting it out there so you guys can uh, can contribute and that uh, it's immediately out there because I want to help people and I want to have it uh, have it open and I want to have it for free. So um, I'm adding all the time new stuff. And the problem with LaTeX is uh, you get the the document in a PDF form pdf and every time i change something or uh, i get a pull request and something gets changed i need to recompile the pdf i need to upload the pdf again so it's super annoying and uh, overall uh, let's say i do 10 changes a week then i would have 10 versions and it's a big big uh, mess and uh if you want to read it, you have to download PDF. And I mean, uh, most of the time uh, people read, and me as well, I read online. So uh, it makes sense to get online and have it online. So because, yeah, people read online. And also I don't want to uh, print it as a cover, as a hardcover book or as a, as a, yeah, as a book in general. I, I don't have plans to, to print this anyway. So 
um, I decided let's make it change and let's have it online. And so what I did is I used uh, a, a software called Pandoc. And Pandoc is really interesting because you can uh, format your stuff um, or, or you can convert your stuff uh, through um, different programs or different different softwares or, or formats. Let's say formats. Um, so basically, you can use LaTeX. Here's LaTeX, uh, and you can uh, convert this to basically almost everything from and to LaTeX. So uh, you can do Markdown, and I basically did a conversion with with Pandoc. Uh, from LaTeX to Markdown. It didn't go 100%, but it's enough. I have worked, uh, uh, then I'm trying to work out all the kinks. Some some stuff still doesn't work. Um, yeah, so this is, this is basically how I did the conversion. Why did I do this in Markdown? Because Markdown is the, um, the language for GitHub. It's the native language for GitHub, and you can very easily create the files. The 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 concept of Markdown it's very simple. Uh, let me just yeah, it's very simple. There's a web page called Markdown Guide, and with Markdown Guide they have a cheat sheet, and here you can see the basic syntax, um, headlines and lists and links and images and tables. So. It's very, very simple. It's just this series is just one one page, a small page. And with that, you can do everything in Markdown. And so it's very, very simple and also looking quite good. So I have um, I have created everything and it starts. So, so basically you have all the 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 index, the contents and you can have you have links and you can link to the different stuff. And I uh, also, um, you have code, how code looks, and you can have like in this way, you can have the tables like I had before uh, with links to my podcasts here. You can then check out if you want to listen, watch on YouTube or listen on Anchor. Um, by the way, the cookbook is, is in the description, the link to the cookbook. And what you can also do is you can integrate HTML in it so you don't need to um, just do markdown. You can insert HTML every time and it's it's working very, very good and very, very simple. It's easy to contribute and it's you, you can see immediately what has changed and you don't need to recompile stuff. And it's very, very simple. And what I also like, I'm using as an editor, as an editor, I use Adam. Adam is a, a very, very, um, cool editor with a lot of languages and plugins and everything you can you can imagine. And so the cool thing with Adam is that you uh, can also can have dark mode, which I love. I love working with dark mode. And you write basically down here your your uh, markdown. And then you have on the right side, you can create a markdown, a preview. And then you can basically see how this whole thing is going to look in the end when everything is finished and it's uploaded to GitHub. So it's, it's of course, this is a dark mode, but you get the idea. So it's, it works great. I still use, um, I still use GitHub desktop for the GitHub management because um, I can't get it running in Atom. I don't know why it's a bit annoying. So I'm very, very happy. Um, I'm very surprised that this went so fast. Uh, of course, uh, it took me a few days to make the, the transition and I think it's not 100%. So there might be some, um, some links that don't work. Um, but yeah, this can all be fixed. And it's, uh, it's great fun working with Markdown instead of instead of LaTeX. If you like my videos, Check out my website, andreaskretz.com or blummersofdatascience.com. There you always find the news videos. You find my mailing list um, where I notify you of uh, interesting stuff that I have done, all my best stuff. And um, you can support through Patreon, 
paypal.me um, if i'm going live on super chats and you can use this amazon link and support the stream by buying something from amazon okay that's already it um, i'm going to keep you updated hopefully every day on the stuff i'm adding and, or, and i'm working on what's going on and then yeah see you tomorrow have a great day uh bye bye